That is a banana. We have seen that before many times. And that is bacon out of banana peel. I may be a weirdo, but this is my year, yo. My life may be crazy. My lack of the lazy has let me do shit that I love on the daily. Daily. Good morning. If you're wondering what is the noise, it's my coffee machine. It still has leaky gut syndrome. Oh, baby. Good morning, vegan savages. Yesterday I was like, I tell you what's in the box and I ended up didn't tell you. So we're gonna do that first things first. What's in the box? Uh, what's in the box? Taking, what's in the fucking box? <laughs> paper. Oh, there's actually, oh, if Kiwi would be here, she would be like, oh, and play with the paper. Hello, Kiwi. Hello. Kiwi, good old times. We got some, oh, it's from Koro, my sponsor for just staples. Nutritional yeast in bulk, just without any additives, 250 grams. Where's the label? Oh, here. Oh, barberries. Remember from the post, I link it to you down below. Barberries are actually so good in reducing your pimples, reducing your acne. That's why I eat barberries every single day in my porridge. And I actually still have them. I should take them with me when I travel. Yo, coffee machine, how is your leaky gut? Oh, it's looking okay. Are you healed? Oh, wow. Still send you back though. Get a new one, get it repaired. We got the soy crispies. Back on stack, can you believe that? 60% protein, one kilogram. That is so incredible. Per 100 gram, 60 grams of protein. They don't taste like much, but now Koro actually offers them flavored, but I like them unflavored because all the flavor is in my nice cream and porridge. And the, these are just so crunchy. You're so I love crunchiness and just added protein and crunchiness. Did I order them twice? Okay. okay. Pistachios, unsweetened, unflavored, unsalted, just already peeled. How convenient. Last but not least, hemp seeds. A kilogram. You see these bulk packaging? They last me for one day. Just kidding. So if you want to order anything from Koro, use my 5% code VGAINS5. Unfortunately, they're only in Europe currently. Hopefully they will expand to Australia, to the United States, but for now just in Europe. <gasps> Today is my upper body training. That's why I'm so heavy upper body training. So excited. And the weather never really impacts my mood and so another day where it doesn't, super cloudy, rainy, foggy, I don't care. And the great thing is that the gym is just next door. It's just two minutes and 20 seconds away. How do I know that? Because I timed it in the vlog up here. And you know, I'm also super excited tomorrow. <coughs> <coughs> Axel is coming. You don't know who that is, Axel? Haven't you watched my Bali vlogs? <laughs> I upload it there every single day. What I do, that's why I tickle that subscribe button. I share my exciting, weird, healthy, funny, non-judgmental vegan lives on a daily basis. I do daily vlogs. And I was a month in Bali and I vlog there every single day. And Axel, oh, he became such a great friend, but I haven't seen him for ages. Like three months or so, or two months. Actually not that long. But now he's coming to Berlin. And then we do another trip together. And another one. Not Bali, we will do that at the end of the year. We go back to Bali in December. But, um, but anyway, we see him tomorrow. And you know what's crazy? His YouTube channel exploded. Because he's shooting a doc and he's currently in Bangladesh. And Bangladesh is just popping. All his Bangladesh vlogs, they have like 20, 30, 40, 50. The last one even over 100,000 views. And his subscribers went to from 1,500 to almost 10k? Crazy, I'm so happy for him. He deserves it and hopefully those people who watch it became schmuckies. That's his community, like my, like you are my vegan savages. His subscribers are his schmuckies. And hopefully they don't only watch in Bangladesh. If so, Axel, we're just gonna move to Bangladesh. I look so like shit today. Pimples are popping out here. Just puffy face. Still love myself though. Always. Oh, yesterday evening I watched a video, a little doc about a guy who spent 300 days isolated on an island and it was so interesting. First I was like, I'm never gonna watch 50 minutes of that. But then he wanted to hunt a pig, but a baby pig fall in there and they become like best friends and it was so cute and then he lost, it. oh I don't wanna give spoilers, but he actually survived on an island just by himself. 
And you know what was the hardest? Isolation, being alone. That was actually the hardest for him. He, I, I don't want to see his blood levels. He probably became so unhealthy because he mostly ate fish. His cholesterol most likely skyrocketed. As we see in studies about Inuits who mostly eat fish and just animal products, how unhealthy they actually are. But anyway, I really liked the video. It was so interesting for me to see. I link it. Just type it in. I link it actually up here. I do have my favorite. Just maybe watch it. The pig though, so cute, but the hardest thing, isolation. That's how social creatures we are. That's why I recommend surround yourself with like-minded people. You just feel whole, you feel fulfilled. And words like depression, loneliness are words that just don't exist in your dictionary. That's how it should be for everyone. What? Why is it here? Okay, okay. Oh, and the last one, what? I'm just today will be my favorite day of to ever. I can die after today because Game of Thrones season eight, episode three is out and I haven't watched it. I was like, should I watch it in the morning? I was like, no, I have a productive day and I keep it for the evening. So please, mother of dragons, no spoiler left and right. And tomorrow I tell you how I like it without spoilers. It w I told you, the biggest battle ever done in all movies and all TV shows. 55 days shot for one battle. I am the king. I just want to watch now. What will happen? I'm sure we meet Benny now in the gym. I'm, I'm sure he already watched it. And he's like, oh, you know what will happen? And I'm like, Benny, seriously? No, he doesn't do that because he's a good guy. Benny, you need to be a bit hateable. Don't tell me you haven't watched Game of Thrones. You haven't? Okay, I watched it. Here's what happened. So, they all took magic mushrooms and they have a giant sex battle and then the what? dragon penis. <gasps> Are you also that stoked? I'm pretty stoked. Yeah. Bro, I'm it's crazy it's stoked. stoked. It's what movie? In history, ever, 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 TV show and movie combined. I even dreamt about the, really? this, yeah. And also about something else. Was it a nice, uh, was it an exciting dream? Oh yeah, it's really sexual exciting. Uh, that's uh, what it's all about, yeah. yeah. <laughs> You're making your training in notes? Mm -hmm. Why? Why not? Yeah, because there's not, not a good app. The app I have is shitty, but I just get used to it. Yeah. Anyway, you know what's cool? I live so close that on a rainy day like that, I even walk to the gym. Yeah, me too. Oh, because he also lived that close. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. How nice. Because I have no bike, but I ordered one this weekend, so it should. Be you you ordered the, the the same. I have to fix yeah, link. Yeah, the one you. My affiliate link. Yeah, it's good. You, you boy. Also, upper body training. Huh? Upper body. Yes. Here's my boy. Also, vegan savage. Of course. Here's my also singer. Of course. This is my boy. Also. Give it to me. This is my boy. Also. I think it's okay. Okay. Think that will hold? Sure. Mm, I got too strong. But the good thing is these are 15 kilogram and blades. They yeah. have 20, 25. even 25. Yeah, so you can stack yeah. even more. Yeah. And you know what I like about the weather? Um, that everything will turn green. <laughs> <laughs> That's, yeah. And also I go in the sauna later. Ah, nice. Perfect weather for that. True. Should, should I smuggle you in? Uh, maybe next time uh, we have a lot on our plate today. So okay. Not prepared to see me naked yet. We're gonna build up to that. <laughs> and it's not the first. Oh, we went in Mallorca, didn't we? Go? Did I go in naked? Yes. Yeah. yeah, sure. This guy's a liar. No, I didn't want to censor. That, that's the reason why. Uh, yeah. But when we go in the sauna, I don't vlog it. <laughs> yeah, because it's too hot for the camera, right? <laughs> Right. After 15 minutes of 90 degrees sauna, I'm just so zen. Now we go to the grocery store because I want to buy some oil because I want to make something which you see in a set. Oh, you already seen it by the thumbnail. Because I don't have any oil at home, for a reason, because I don't cook with oil, if you want to know why. Uh, no, it's actually an Instagram post. I link it to you down below. And let's get some oil in the smallest package, because probably after that I will hardly or never use it again. 
So let's see how small of a package we can find. That's what she said. Got cucumbers, apples, apple cider vinegar, and now one of the smallest and cheap oil I found, canola oil. It has a decent omega-3 to omega-6 ratio, I believe four to one, four times omega-6 and omega-3. Not like crazy uh, sunflower oil, which is like one to 300, 300 times more omega-6 and omega-3. That is so crazy. So canola oil is a much better choice and it's also heat stable, so great for cooking. But still, oil is the shit I don't like. Why are these oats 20 cents more expensive even though they're completely the same? And in Germany we just have basically two kinds of oats. These are more crowned and these are whole and I prefer the more crowned one for a more fluffy texture. But it's empty so I took the whole one because 20 cents, why? These are like, there's no difference and they're just 20s. But still. compared to Los Angeles, that's so cheap. But that's what I like even more. But then that is just ridiculous because it's still the same shit. Oats are oats and will always be oats. There's nothing you can change about it. Trust me, I've tried it. This is what it is, son. And now if you like, oh, I checked out your Instagram post about oil. It's actually not the healthiest choice. I want to cook without oil, but I just don't know how. <laughs> I gotcha. Also made a post exactly about that. I also link it down below. And now that we got the oil, the cucumbers, the apples, the apple cider vinegar. What a weird grocery haul, by the way. In my gym bag, we're gonna go to the packing station because I'm gonna pick up a new camera. I'm so stoked about not a fancy camera, just like this, a point and shoot, a vlogging cam, but a Sony one. I know, I committed, I went to the dark side. Canon, please don't hate me, but, okay, if, do I? Yeah, I think this is oversharing, but some of you might be interested in that. I will touch on that in my next podcast. But cameras, when they're imported to Europe, they have a limit of 30 minutes. They just cannot record any longer because if they record longer, they could easily, but they just manipulate the cameras that they cannot do it. Thus, they're sold as photo cameras, which are not taxed that high. But if they could record longer, then they're professional videographer cam cameras. And then the taxes are so much greater. Thus, they make this limit of 30 minutes, but you can hack actually the Sony cams with a software update and thus you can record just 13 hours. So basically as long as you want, because I want to do a visual of my podcast, of my entire podcast and not just the first 30 minutes. That's why we got a Sony in the house. Gonna crack it today and that hopefully record long visual podcasts for YouTube and then I have all the motivation to do Vegans podcast regularly. Find a schedule because now I'm on and off. I do like three in a row and then three weeks no podcast. But now I wanna do it not every single day because I have a routine for YouTube, daily, a routine for Instagram, daily. But for podcasts, I don't have a routine and I wanna change that. So I wanna do one per week, like every Sunday or something. And just if I don't have a guest talk about whatever, ask you on Instagram, just talk, just be funny, just hang out. So you can open another tab Listen to me while you do Photoshop, follow your highest excitement, whatever you do, because I do that a lot and thus we can really close our relationship even more. So I wanna end visual, I think it's so great. I anyway, I'm totally oversharing it, so let's get that camera. Say hello to our new family member, Sony. Welcome to the dark side. New family member Sony RX103 and why I ordered an older model because the new one RX106 I believe costs like more than double and the image quality isn't much different unless you want to do fancy shit like slow motion 4k which I don't want I just wanted for my podcast just focusing on myself just HD 1080 that's all I need and that it was the do so yeah, yeah, my English is gone and it's just not even half the price that's why I choose this cutie and I heard my lip opening up the box can we do a replay you good bro yeah that hurt but it was so worth it <laughs> classic nice cream and porridge and if you're wondering why do you keep the banana peels just hang on for a second So now I feel like a snack. Yeah, me too. What do you have in mind? Hmm, how about bacon? Bacon, bro? Uh, oh, vegan bacon. But I love what? Well, 
I have banana peels. Banana peels. Bro, that's ridiculous. And this dialogue is so cringy to watch. Just watch me, bro. I'm a vegan savage. I show you how I do it. Vegans delivers. Banana peels. Let's go. Let's make bacon out of this. I'm really concerned about this idea. Ugh, they already turned black. Ew. So how did I get this dumb idea making bacon out of banana peels? I saw or someone sent me this post and I was like hmm. I googled it and I found a video this one and he actually made bacon out of banana peels. So we tried to recreate that and see if it actually kind of tastes like bacon and for bacon you know that's why I bought the oil canola oil but first what he did in the video first of all yes these are organic bananas then he peeled off all the fiber oh that actually works super well that you just have these strings of fiber well that is all fiber but just these strings of actually the skin we don't want that inside skin we just want this thin outside layer so let me do that quickly here we go. I have a feeling that that will be so disgusting. Let's try the inside. Actually, nah. But I'm a total optimist, so this bacon will be on fire. We take a good coated pan, we heat it up, we add the canola oil. Let's just add lots of it, because that's the only purpose I bought it. This is shit I don't like. But what do you do for bacon dough? Bacon dough, bacon dough. <laughs> now let's add the bacon, bacon. What am I doing here? <laughs> that is just banana peels. They belong to the trash. How will this ever, ever taste like bacon? But stay an optimist. Oh, this will be such yummy bacon. Let's just add some pepper. By the way, I have no idea what I'm doing here. Let's add some cumin. Oh, smoked paprika. That would taste like bacon. I'm not gonna lie, that actually smells good. I hardly can believe it. That actually looks like bacon. I mean, kinda. If I would have seen it, now, for the first time, I, I would never guess that this is actually banana peels. Like, what the heck? That is actually crispy. So now, we're gonna mm. get at least rid of a bit of fat, that it's not just oil. So now, I guess the moment of truth, let's give these a try. That is a banana. We have seen that before many times. And that is bacon out of banana peel. Let's give it a try. <laughs> Yo, what the heck? I thought I would never really eat that. It's so crispy. But it doesn't taste like bacon. Uh, nah. Uh, uh. It just tastes like banana skin after all. Just the fiber, just the strings. That is just pure fiber covered in oil. Looks like bacon. Makes the same noise like bacon. Hmm. Ah. Yeah, I'm sorry, this is so gross. Maybe another one. Hmm. Nah. Uh. Just fiber strings of banana skin. Yo. Whoever made up this shit puts people off veganism. If you're selling that, as bacon, as vegan bacon, they're like, I never go vegan. Because they actually create vegan bacon options. Yeah, but not that. So, I did it for you, so you don't have to do it. Just eat your bananas, the fruit, and just throw the skin away. Just compost it and be done with it, but don't try to use it for bacon. I love the crunchiness though, but it's just strings of banana fiber skin. That's all it is. You cannot hide that. This is shit I don't like and creasy. That's why I hate oil. My fingers are so creasy. I cannot even touch my phone. Ugh. Oh, you hear that crunchiness? Ooh, arm is R. Uh, I always get it wrong. R A R M. You good, bro? And that, my friend, is the vlog. I make lunch now, I crack my Sony later, so I get a visual like that, for example. And in the evening, I will watch Game of Thrones. <laughs>
cry. I'm so excited. I never been, I never have been that hyped for a TV show, but for a reason because it's just so well made. <gasps> Imagine I would have such a budget, such a crew for my daily vlogs. Uh, keep dreaming. I do, and I dream big, and I hope you do the same. And I see you here precisely tomorrow, 6 a.m. Central European time, because I'm not everything. <gasps> Drake, 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 peace, chick, peace. My biceps looks like a chick, peace out.